kiss for the people. Ew. Coffee good, that's all I can tell you. Wow. Did you see how she tried to smoothly hijack my coffee? I'm your wife, I'm your woman. You're supposed to take care of me. You gotta make your own. with the Nespresso review. Now we saw this bad boy at Target and the first thing I did was look at the price and I was like, oh hell no. But then the lady was there and she was doing a demo of this thing and Matthew, God bless you. Sorry. <laughs> Matthew being the coffee connoisseur that he is, he just fell in love with this thing right away. Not only because of the actual machine, but because of the quality of the coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker and I was even impressed with this thing. So I was like, honey, you gotta get it. You just gotta get it. So Matthew is gonna go over the actual coffee and just features of the machine. Now I can tell you that we used to have a Keurig before we got this and we were thinking about buying a new Keurig because ours was getting old, but after seeing the Nespresso, we just had to have this thing. So honey, what was your first impression? I was amazed at the, the fact that it did espresso shots. So I am uh, a guy that likes uh, a Starbucks black eye, which is two shots of espresso with uh, coffee. Josie had said, man, you know, you spent a lot of money on coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, so yeah, I thought, sorry. And I was like, yeah, I mean, typical coffee for me is, you know, about four bucks. So I said, you know, I'm gonna give this a try. Uh, so I looked at it and immediately said, you know, I think this could meet, meet my needs. So, but it's not just about the fact that it makes espresso, like the quality of the coffee. Let's tell, tell us about that. Yeah, your coffee that you get from, uh, from Nespresso is not your run of the mill Keurig coffee. These right here are the, uh, what do you want to call these? The capsules? Yeah, they're the capsules. Okay, so what do we have here? This is... That's an espresso shot. This is an espresso shot, and it's a little thinner than the other ones. Now, this that's, that's on the high end. They, uh, Nespresso has about four different espresso shots. Oh, do they? Each one with a varying degree. They even have a decaffeinated, which is this one right here. Okay, it's decaffeinated. So, so that's a decaffeinated. And then we have, this is a... Uh, which... If you're drinking decaffeinated espresso, you shouldn't be drinking any damn espresso. Okay. <laughs> so, so what is this? This is the, the new line they came out with. This is the Intense, the dark roast coffee. It's okay. a lot more uh, potent. All right. Um, so you got the dark roast. This is the, the meat, I guess, a medium roast or regular? Yeah, there's one more uh, below that one. Okay. Uh, which is a little bit lighter. Lighter that than would be, that. I'd say this would be the medium roast. Okay, so we've got ex the espresso, we've got the dark, we've got the medium roast, then you're getting into a variety. Now these things right here, when you buy your Nespresso, you are going to get this right here, okay? This is a sampler. Yeah. So you're getting 12 samples uh, when you buy that that come in the box and these in the middle were some of the samples we got so this is Hazelnut, hazelnut. Caramel. We've got caramel and we have bought caramel several times already because our daughter really loves it our older daughter Then this is a regular decaf mix. Yeah, it's half decaf half regular. Okay, and then what is this right here? Full decaf. Maybe. That's full decaf and this is vanilla, vanilla right? Yep. Okay, so you have all these uh, there's even more than the variety that you see here But this is what we have and this little nifty little shelving unit. Um, it's also from Nespresso, right? Yes Okay, but we bought this separately when we when we got our Nespresso home We said oh, well, how are we gonna store all this coffee and then Matthew went out and he found this online? Yes, okay, you mm -hmm. found it online. So this is how we store our coffee So when you get your machine, what are you getting? You're getting this. Yes, okay, you're well, getting Here's the thing when we went when we went to Target and bought this we yes. got the deal which gave us this and this But it's in the box, right? This is not, this is separate. Oh, this is separate. This is separate. Okay. This came with this special deal with Target, I guess, at the time. Okay, but, okay, so you have your, your... standard, you're gonna get this right here. Okay, so... And only this. All right, that, and then you got the samplers. Correct. Okay, so this is an extra add-on, and this is a frother, right? Correct. It frothes milk, 
And to do what? What does like? What's the point of frothing? If you want to be a little fancy pants with your coffee and want a little bit of froth, you know, some froth milk on top of your coffee. Okay. And what the lady who was doing the demo at Target, she said that you can also make hot chocolate in this, which is exciting for me because I just love that. Okay, so we're going to get to making a cup of coffee in just a second, but just let me finish with this one thing. When your capsules actually come in these boxes, yes. which you can order online. You, you, oh, cannot, you cannot get them in, in anywhere. You can't get them in the store. No, you might be able to get samples. I know where, where we have a Williams and Sonoma. They will give you samples. Okay, so you have to order this online. And you may say, oh, I want my coffee now. But it comes super fast, guys. It comes in like two days. Is the it shipping free shipping? Is, uh, sometimes. Sometimes it's, it's, it's free shipping. Most of shipping. the time, the shipping is very low, though. Okay, all right. It's like and, $5 But it comes in like two, two days. days. One more thing be before we get into actually making the wonderful cup of coffee. And I'm so excited about this. Matthew, right here, what is this bag that you have right here? It's, when you have... Your capsules, which they'll, they'll be spent, they'll look like this. The empty, all... empty capsule actually goes in here, and then you just collect your capsules until you're ready to dump it out. Right. There's... Go online, and you'll find out who the vendors are for Nespresso, and they will give you a free bag. Okay, we already have a lot of used capsules in here, and basically you're recycling these things. Yeah. They'll give you, they'll provide the bag. And then you would just take them back to the supplier and just be like, here, here you go. Yeah, and the, and it. you don't pay a penny. Okay, so can we get to making this cup of coffee? Look, I don't even drink coffee and I'm excited about it. Absolutely. What's wrong with me? That's right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Put that back over there. All right, just slides in really good. That was easy. So you lift that up. And there goes the old coffee capsule from the day before, and it slides right, it goes right into there, which is awesome. In the morning, I'll put in one regular cup. Push that down. You hear that lock? And then... Wait, do you want to tell them about the centrifuge thing? Because it's going to make a lot of noise, okay? Yes. And there's actually the centrifuge spinning power that what? It just it what basically what it does is the water hits the the uh, coffee in the in the capsule and then as the capsule spins it's spinning spinning and it's hitting the walls to really get out all it the soaks flavor. out all the flavor out of the coffee bean okay so you're really getting the full flavor out of the capsule yeah I'm hit the top of this button now you're gonna hear a lot of noise all right so I guess that's a con of this the pros and cons yeah of this. I mean, that's it's one a of little the cons. noisy it's, it's a, a little, little noisy, noisy. Yeah. okay. Oh, look at this. Here we go, here we go. Look at that coffee. Nice and hot and steamy. You see that steam off of there? Now, as you can see too, it, it gives you, because of the, the spinning, it gives you that nice little cafe foam. You already get foam naturally with this, which is what's quite incredible. Now, now you're about to hear it pick up. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. it smells so good. Hear that. There's the centrifuge. Okay. And then it's done. So then you open it back up. We're going to get... Let's see. There we go, and it's collected the, another yeah. pod. Now what I like to do is I like to throw a, a an espresso capsule in. So we're putting an espresso in. All right, same principle, lock it. Okay. And then just hit that button at the top and it's gonna, now the espresso capsules are a lot quicker naturally because there's less coffee. There goes the espresso. Beautiful, look at that. Look at that. Getting every last drop out of it, guys. You can see the the aeration of the coffee at the top there. So, so what you, does that mean? Is that good? That's a good thing? Yeah, you're basically getting a foamy, you know, a foamy experience when you're drinking it. What you will find with this is that it's not bitter at all. Which is why us coffee drinkers, if you do use sugar, put sugar, put cream... I have really lowered my sugar consumption 
because if I put too much sugar in here, because of the, the, the fact that the beans aren't very bitter, I'll end up making the coffee taste horrible. So if you put in your normal amount of sugar as you would in, say, another cup of coffee, that would be too much sugar for the Nespresso coffee. Correct. This is your what, what people consider your American standard cup of coffee. Okay, but this isn't like a little teacup. I think this is big, actually. No, but, but what I'm trying to explain to you is this because this is built for Euro European cups uh -huh. and the, the ideology of what a cup of coffee should be. All right. Your American cup of coffee oh, is it's not going to fit. It's not even fitting on it's yeah. Well, it'll do it. It'll work. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you right now, guys. If you do use American cup of coffee, you better hold it okay. while it spins. Because of the centrifuge spinning, I've actually had a cup of coffee one time fall off. Oh, you didn't tell me that. Yeah, remember that one time we were running late for work? Oh, yeah, that's off? what happened. You didn't tell yeah. me it fell off. Yeah, it fell off. Okay, so, so that's a con for any, so it's going to be a con for some people. It will be a con for some people, yes. I'm excited to talk about this frother because I want to show you guys how this frother works. And this is actually a magnet on the top of here. All right, show me what we're dealing with here. That's a magnet. It's so what does magnet. that do? What is that? I believe the magnet help steer this oh. down here at the bottom. Okay. Um, so what you would do is you all would right, take... Alright, is it... Do we have to turn it on first? Yeah, you'll see it. Okay, because... Alright, alright. So what you do is you take your... Now, we've... I tried this with skim milk, fat-free milk. It doesn't have enough fat to really... Alright, you need... It. You basically need full milk. Full yeah. whole milk for this. Correct. Get to frothing, baby! We're going to turn it on and it's going to heat up. And then if you up. look at the top here... Alright, so we turned on the little button. Yes. And then, oh, 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 look at that. That's fancy. And then it, is it going to just start going faster or what's going to happen? Uh, it's going to keep whipping it and then. Oh, it, so this doesn't like get all crazy and centrifuge like this thing does. No. It doesn't. Okay. It's so like a, it's like a whisker. It's like a gentle whipping. Correct. Okay. It's very quiet. Barely hear anything. And how long does this take? Oh, it's going over! It's a good thing I have some paper towels here. So we put too much milk in this. Yeah. Yeah, don't mess up like we did. All right. Oh, look at that. Let's see it. Let's see it. I'm not a coffee drinker, but we're on camera. I gotta take a sip, right? Okay. It smells so good. So good. You know what? My problem with coffee is the bitter, strong, punch your tongue taste. And I gotta say, this doesn't do that. And that's the high one. This that's does the not do that. I could actually, I'm not going to, because I kicked my coffee habit, but I could get into this. Come on, girl. I'm gonna just have one more sip. Come on, lady. That's actually very good. That's very good. A typical cup of coffee for me is it's about two bucks is what it costs me to make it at home. Then buy Compared it. Compared to four dollars. It's four dollars and five cents at Starbucks. Okay. Wow. Matthew orders these. He orders this in bulk. Bucks, to, yeah. About a hundred dollars every time he orders. You don't have to buy that much coffee. He just buys it in bulk so we can just have it in the house and not have to keep reordering. Cause you know. Coffee fanatic. Because he's a coffee fanatic. But you can obviously just get whatever amount of coffee you want when you buy it online. It ships so fast. Some, one, didn't one time we got it the next day? Yeah, almost. Yeah. I mean, I can't make any promises. I don't work for the company. But it has never taken us more than two days to get our supply of coffee. I think that a con is it may be a little noisy. But, I, and I'm really reaching here to find a con. What do you think is a, a con? I, do you... Any downside? I mean, not, not for me. Matthew is happy, and I gotta make sure Matthew has his coffee, because he don't, if he don't get his coffee, he's not happy, and then the house ain't happy. So I gotta make sure that Matthew stays happy, okay? I am, I am a caffeine crackhead. Come on, guy, get your own. It's kind of good, actually. <laughs> I might have to take, bring my habit back. <laughs> Do you have anything else to, to add? Buy it! Okay! And after you get done with that, subscribe, man! Subscribe to our channel! <laughs> Cheers, guys! Hey, get out of here! <laughs>